Hello, you guys. This is your collective reading. I am back. Um, I am in Guyana, South America. So uh, this is for twin flame soulmates that are in separation. We're going to take a look at the energies that are coming in this week. And um, yeah, I had to leave Canada. We've been in lockdown for so long and I came to my parents' home. So my setup is a little different, you're going to see. Um, but yeah, I'm still fooling around the camera. So some of you'll see as I'm testing things out things are going to be um, a little wonky. Um, there is also a house being built. They just started. Uh, I was waiting. I've been a little delayed in starting these readings because I was hoping that they were just clearing the land, but it looks like they're actually building it to clear. That's why they're clearing the land. So we're going to have to deal with some sound. Everything is very open here because uh, it is tropical climate. So, um, <laughs> well, I have my earphones in and there's a lot of wind of where I'm set up. So um, yeah. Please uh, bear with me. I am doing my best, uh, but I know I wanted to get back to sharing with you guys. I will be doing readings for the month of June. If you are interested, then please send me an email so that I can send you the link of where to book. It's not on my website. I only offer readings for my Soul Tribe members. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be opening them up. So send me an email if you are interested. More info, all that is down below. Let's take a look, guys. Soulmate Twin Flame Collective, what is going on in the energy spirit for this week of May 24th? <clears throat> I'm using this amazing full deck that I just got. They're just energy cards. They just have pictures on them that you intuitively feel out by the art. They're really beautiful. What is going on for Divine Masculine, please, Spirit? That's for this week in the Twin Flame Collective. <clears throat> wow, look at this. The masculine is uh, what I'm getting from this is tapping into some ancient wisdom. What I'm also getting here is that there is, you know, some, I don't know what this is, like a branch or tear, but it's almost like his eyes have started to open and he's been tapping into these pyramids here. Look at all these eyes that are here. He's seeing something very clear and something very truthful in this connection. Um recognizing look at this this is the father energy connected to sorry there's a lot of glare guys i don't have any lighting it's natural light so we have a lot of windows here um this is very much uh seeing things from a higher perspective this is like the father energy the uh yes the father god energy the christ consciousness the uh moving into a very uh intuitive place building knowing wanting to build something of ancient grounding temples in his calling with divine feminine seeing the truth crying tears of blood um i'm almost feeling this is bloodshed he's very painful tears there's also blood here from his mouth dripping down so he has sacrificed himself somewhere along the line that he's coming into a realization that he had to sacrifice certain egoic desires in order to tap back into this grid work there's a light grid work that runs on the twin flame journey that grounds the 144 thousands of twins that are here and <clears throat> this is the we're at you know we're at that precipice point now you guys that he's tapping into this light grid work to call in all the other twins that's really what i'm seeing here let's see what's going on for divine feminine spirit where's divine feminine right now in the energies Wow, she is, wow, wow. These energies are very similar. The spirit is showing me that he's recognizing divine feminine here. Do you see how this blood and these tears and these fire, it's the same color as this fire, these flames. She is grounding the earth energy, the darkness of the yin and the yang. She is sitting here in her own um, surrendered state here in the earth, grounding the energies of the higher realms surrender to spirit to guide her however she may be um guided and this star is like a reverse paraband of the womb you know she's bringing down in the heart space these energies to build new foundations this is really potent energy let's see the connection between the two spirit what's going on between masculine and feminine energy between the two yeah they're both coming into this birthing process. Something is being birthed right now in the collective. This is something that is um, 
coming out of the womb. It's very much that they've been incubated in separation in their own womb, but the twins are being birthed now into this beautiful light. And that is the connection that is guiding them um, together. Let's pull some tarot, guys. Yeah, it's really beautiful energy. They're both coming into a place of learning how to... Um, Yeah, there are layers here. Spirit is just bringing my attention to the layers of this work in the womb, the purification, the growing, the growth, the maturing before you move through the birth canal. This is very much a birth canal. Okay, this is Mother Earth birthing something brand new for the twins. Um, yeah, let's do that, Spirit. Let's do the soulmate and separation first before I pull some tarot. <clears throat> We're also going to take a look at third party. Um, if I'm guided, we'll see. I'm pretty sure we, we will be doing that. And I'm sorry again for the wind. I'm trying my best to not have it hit my mic, but it's a little hard. Let's see. What is going on for Divine Masculine right now, Spirit? This is for the Twin Flame Collective. This is a timeless reading. What is going on in this connection here for the Masculine Energy? What is going on with the Masculine Energy? Wow. Wants well, union, guys. Ready for union. Okay. So this masculine has been having a lot of um, insights, definitely. Okay. In regards to what this is. That's what I'm seeing. It's also a number 11 on that. Okay. 56. He's been, and there's a lot of fire. <clears throat> a lot of fire. Feminines, you may be feeling some of that fire. All right. A lot of that potent energy coming through. Father energy. Um, direction, movement, action, wanting to action your life, but they're and passionate too. It doesn't have to be just sexual energy, but there's a lot of action movement. This energy here with union is um, really what what he desires. It's really beautiful. He's thinking about that. He's thinking about the ancient wisdom of what this union can bring. That that's that's his that's his path. He's very sorry, is what I'm getting from this card. I feel like he's purged a lot his eyes are now open his many eyes his many eyes are open he's seeing in all kinds of directions this masculine is very much aware of what is going on okay wow let's take a look what's going on with divine feminine what's going on with divine feminine spirit what's going on with divine feminine okay. we've got two here so divine feminine is saying the time isn't right for me to reach out and I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea so this divine feminine is saying I ain't reaching out to the divine masculine we have a 40 there which is a four and we have a 67 which is 13 which is another four okay so we have a four and four feminines are really thinking about their foundation right now they're thinking about where they want to move she's not going to reach out these feminines that I'm connecting to are like I'm doing my own thing I thought there were plenty more fish in the sea. She may have tried to date. She may be out dating. But I feel this feminine is just not even focused on romance right now. She's really focused on her abundance. She's focused on her life. She's focused on where she wants to go. And so the time is not re right for me to reach out. She doesn't feel. There's a lot of clocks here. Divine timing. I feel like she's given up to divine timing. She's allowing it to just... Um, fester and sit and this is a lot of like that passionate energy she's following the guidance of spirit to be in this action for her path and her life and not focusing on her masculine right now that's the new birthing process too of what's happening here with divine feminine and um yeah she's saying i thought there were plenty more fish in the sea i feel like she's tried to go out and date but it's like they just look like octopuses and then she's like ugh, i just can't even deal with this anymore um i'm just you know and i feel like both twins were doing this they're trying to find other connections or seeing what's out there but they're both realizing here no this is not <laughs> i just keep pulling up all these like crazy monsters that just want something or it's not healthy for me so this feminine is like i'm not really going to be looking into these things right now romance love i'm curious i want to know what's happening but i'm focusing on myself let's see what's going on in the union between the two what is the energy between the twins right now spirit that they are currently connected to together what's connecting them in this birthing energy wow guys Whew, some potent energy coming two souls in one body they're both recognizing that this is there's a birthing process going on for union 
And it's the direction of the masculine knowing that this is what he wants. And it's the direction of the feminine focusing on the new path forward of, <clears throat> excuse me, of what she desires in her life and not focusing on the masculine, right? Because remember, divine feminines lead the way most in most twin flame connections is the feminine. And it, actually, it, it does. And I haven't seen it any other way. I'm sure I'm not. That doesn't mean that it's that way all the time. But in my experience, it's been the feminine energy has led the way because they're the ones that birth the new energy. They're the ones that create the new vibration. And that's really what's happening. This masculine is feeling this and, and knowing that he has to come into this union place. And feminine knows that she has to birth this new path. So she's not looking at other relationships right now. She's focusing on herself. And together, they're both realizing that they're two souls in one body. And this is what's birthing this energy. Wow, you guys. Let's take a look and see what is going on. I'm going to just move these up here. Sorry if you guys can't fully see them, but I am going to put them like this. So um, I can get more. I got more table space here. That's for sure. Let's see. This is my deck, the Cosmic Tarot. They're not for sale yet, but they will be. I know, guys. <laughs> Oh, there's so many things that I have to do, and it's like I have a list, and it's just, yeah. It's slowly but surely, I'm a bit of a turtle's pace here. <laughs> what is going on with the Divine Masculine right now in the collective reading for this week, Spirit? What is going on with the Divine Masculine, knowing that they want union here, Spirit? Um, what is going on with the Divine Masculine towards this connection? Thank you. We're going to take, we're going to take a look at the bottom spirit is guiding me to just take a look at the bottom here as the overall. Oh my God, guys, 10 of cups. This is a beautiful reading. They want it all. They want it all. They don't want anything. Um, that's the nine of cups. They don't want material stuff. They want the ancient wisdom. They want what spirit has made for them eons ago. They want the full shebang. They want what spirit has created. They are willing to follow that. That is what they are desiring right now. So that is the ten of cups. Let's take a look. What else for the divine masculine? What wants to give to this relationship? We have the six of pentacles. This masculine is letting his guard down okay he's not ready to persevere anything and move forward he's just learning how to become not defensive in this connection so i'm seeing this masculine's had a recent awakening i'm seeing that he may have walked away from certain things um that he's still trying to maneuver so he may not be coming forward fully because <clears throat> i know guys that's like the name of the game right but it's it's uh really learning to take his guard down so that he can persevere this nine of wands when i created this card is there's a hawk on her shoulder you know that she's being guided by spirit to move through intuitively into the ten of wands right to move into letting go finally of those burdens and this masculine is learning to let that guard down the ego guard down to allow the intuition to start coming in so that's what i was seeing with this card here that with all the pyramids that he's learning that now he's tapping into a more ancient wisdom to trust the forgo the mind more and to trust that intuition and and he knows that if he does that that overall energy is going to bring him to the ten of cups and bring him into this beautiful union he wants to give to this situation but he's not fully um let's see why is he so he's just letting his guard down spirit so let's clarify that yeah he's having a massive awakening exactly what i was feeling so clarifying this card is definitely um <clears throat> he's letting his guard down he's allowing the tower to fall he's so what is he giving to the situation spirit he's and i feel his giving is surrendering now and giving to um yeah set of cups he sees very clearly that he has to just surrender completely to this that he has to let his guard down and allow everything to just burn you know and that's his so he can get something reciprocal out of this situation what else for divine masculine wow for a reunion guys to start off as a friendship to celebrate to come into some type of union however you guys have been in separation for a while however that looks to you to start something celebratory um <clears throat> to start a new vibration and come into something very happy together <clears throat> my throat this masculine really wants to talk um i'm getting pulled to use another deck of cards let me just see here let's get a little bit more detail but spirit is definitely pulling me towards 
these decks. Let's see what else. What is going on with Divine Masculine towards the feminine? How is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine right now? Maybe you guys notice my energy is much more calm here. I have to be with nature. I can't tell you. Living in a condo and being in, in Canada. Whew. And locked up for 15 months? Yeah. <laughs> can't do it. I need to be outdoors. Can't do it. All right. What is going on here for Divine Masculine towards the feminine? What is he feeling right now, Spirit? He's really thinking about the past here. He's really looking at your photos. He wants to meet up, converse, and, and uplifting in friendship. So it's exactly, he wants to just kind of reach out and be like, yo, what's up? I, I want to start something. I want to be friends. Can we do, can we, can we do this? But his mind is in union, but he's going to take it slow because he's still learning how to let go of his ego, right? This nine of, of wands is in reverse. He's just learning to surrender now. He wants to talk, okay? Wanting to talk with the Divine Feminine, knowing that this is union, okay? Uh, how to move forward towards this. And he's working on his self indulgence So he's focusing on himself. He's healing shadow work and self-appreciation. But he's doing this because that's exactly what he desires with Divine Feminine, okay? Let's go a little deeper because we're going to take a look at third-party situations as well. But this masculine is really... Um, Focus, I'm going to say, on surrendering and allowing the energies to play out how they're meant to play out. He's not hanging on to anything. He's just letting it go. I feel he's even surrendering the connection with Divine Feminine because he knows that he can't attach to her either. I feel there may have been some type of energy. If you've been feeling Divine Feminine, this is what I'm getting right now with this fire. You may have been feeling your masculine and just in a bad place or just kind of coming to grab at you. And you're like, oh, I can't deal with that. And so that's why you're not even focusing on anything. You're just really focusing on yourself and your own livelihood. And that's helping this masculine to surrender even deeper. That's a message for some of you. Okay. Let's take a look. What else for divine masculine towards the feminine? I'm so glad that they stopped doing that landscaping today. Wow. Yeah. He's making some really hard decisions courthouse could be doing some legalities as well okay but what's happening here with this masculine is like it, it depends on everyone's situation he felt he felt imprisoned by his own thoughts by his own situation by whatever he created in his life so he's made some very difficult high level decisions about his life what he wants for union for moving forward into this ancient path and to know what he um he may have to go to court and and to end a divorce uh, end a marriage do divorce do all of those things proceedings uh could be legal land issues whatever it is spirit is saying wherever he has been feeling trapped he's definitely making those decisions and so he's allowing things to burn i keep seeing this tower he is allowing it to fall and burn okay he's definitely in that position all right let's see how the masculine is doing towards the feminine in regards to um in regards to the connection here with the birthing this new vibration let's see his reaction toward oh yeah let's do that after let's do the feminine first first like no let's do feminine first all right all right so we're gonna do this in a bit so let's take a look at the feminine's energy now <clears throat> So Divine Feminine is really focused on herself in this connection at this time. She's feeling spirit. She's grounding the two energies. She's very in a balanced place between masculine and feminine energies within herself. And um, yeah, let's see what's going on with her. Thank you, Spirit. We're going to cut the deck and Spirit says we're going to take the one on the bottom as well. She's she's really just focused on self is what I'm getting. Look at that. Her juggling. She's going back and forth and debating with herself between those two realms, okay? That's exactly what I'm seeing here. It's like the same kind of energy as what I'm getting. Her arms are up. She's surrendering. She's doing her balancing act. She's moving between the two realms very beautifully. She's learning to surrender at the same time of actioning in her life. It's a mastery point that a lot of humans don't get to in this life, but you guys are on the twin flame journey. This is why you're in. This is why the purification process is so difficult because it takes a certain level of consciousness, consciousness to do a twin flame path. It is the highest path in this universe okay there's many other multi-universes but in this universe in this 3d world in this earth plane here too we it's the highest level to walk it's a twin plane path there's no codependency it's a deep healing so this feminine has learned to balance this aspect okay oh 
sorry, I want to take that out. Thank you. That's, she's juggling. She's going between those two worlds. She's been learning how to do that, and she's working on that. That's where her focus has been. What is this feminine towards this masculine, her spirit? Yeah, some things that may have been revealed, okay, in the injustice with him. She knows that it's been an injustice, and she wants the truth to come completely out with this masculine energy here. This is the divine masculine here. She completely knows this injustice of this connection. She wants him to come forward and say the truth. She wants the masculine to come forward. She ain't moving forward towards him. It's exactly what this card was saying, that it's, um, I'm not ready. What was it? The time isn't right for me to reach out. She won't reach out. She won't. She's, she will not do it anymore if she has. Um, take it as it resonates, guys, because if you have been feeling like you need to, that's definitely, I'm not telling you not to. You have to follow your own intuition. But this is, you know, even dating or doing anything in that realm, she's like, nope. Like, this is all just... Um, not a thing <laughs> this is i'm focusing on me i'm not dealing with karma i'm not dealing with anything lower than i know that i deserve and he needs to come forward and reveal this injustice clarify this with the divine feminine let's go deeper what is divine feminine about this injustice with this masculine yeah look the chariot in reverse i ain't moving i'm not moving on this and returning to the past there's unfinished business she's completely aware of that and what is she focusing on and she's not moving back she's not doing it she knows this is karmic energy to me that the unfinished business is this karmic energy and the injustice that this caused and she is not moving or returning to the past or dealing with any of this until this masculine becomes clear concise communicative and cut burns everything down with this queen of wands it's just how the cards talk to me i love queen of wands don't get me wrong but it's just how uh, it's karmic energies in my in my um deck and how when i read for you guys so um we need your personal reading with me it doesn't always come out that way okay but when i do the general ones it is so i can know more concise it's just a little bit more di uh direction for me so yeah he he she knows that um she wants him to communicate and tell this karmic energy and tell this karmic energy what spirit <laughs> to apologize to wake up to come out of the cave to stop being stagnant and apologize and do it say sorry i'm leaving you I'm going towards union and she is definitive in that and she is standing her ground and she is not moving on this connection at all and she is focusing on self clarify what she's doing and focusing on herself and her path spirit yeah this masculine does not feel her she's very clear she's blocked the emotional connection she made and i'm not saying that you're stuffing it you're not looking at your stuff it means like i'm not dealing telepathically energetically with your upset I'm not dealing with this energy that you keep pulling me into. She has cut something in the vibration and the she's cleared something from her own vibration um, of this back and forth of this juggling energy. And she's focusing just on mission, just on herself, just on her work, just on her money, just on her foundation and blocking anything that's coming through so she can have a clear vision of where she's going because she's definitely leaving something behind here clarify this a little bit more with divine feminine she's definitely leaving something behind here yeah to be single and independent nine of pentacles okay so she she don't care this feminine is like i don't care that vibration of this karmic injustice i don't want it if you want to be in it be be happy in it but i'm not dealing with it and she's really choosing self that's really what i'm getting wow let's take a look at the uh island time guys let's take a look at the island time let's see what's going on with divine feminine we're going to see how they're both relating to this connection together as well what is going on island time what is going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine, her spirit? What is going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine? <laughs> we have girl talk. She's moving on with her friend. Wow. She's moving on with her friends. Girl talk, moving on, happy single, living in the moment, having a lot of fun, doing her own thing. She's like moving on and she's like ended things, no second chances. And what this means is like, it's not that she's not giving her masculine a second chance. She's not giving that vibration a second chance. If this masculine comes towards her and he's still friends or he's still engaging in all of those karmic energies, it doesn't have to be a third party in a sense. It could be like the work that he does or it could be 
um, you know, his boss, it could be his mother, it could be a, a multitude of karma, his money issues, not being able to be sustainable or whatever it is, right? His issues. Spirit is saying here, she's, that's an end to that. I'm, if that vibration comes back into my life, I will not give that a second chance. And she's being very strong willed about that. Yeah, she's had a massive awakening as well of what addictive behavior is, the pull back and back and forth pull of codependency. She's not willing to deal with addiction, addictive behavior anymore. She knows she likes this masculine. She has feelings for this masculine. She can feel the romance blooming in that, but she's not paying attention to it because she wants clarity and truth and revelation of the truth that will end this separation, but that's not coming through. And so she's not focused on it at all. Wow. So you can see how this is playing out between the two you guys let's see that you know she's fully focused on herself birthing a new vibration not dealing with any injustices and this masculine now is having this huge fall of knowing that this is what he wants let's take a look at what's going on with divine feminine what is going on with divine feminine here towards the masculine what is going on with divine feminine towards the masculine What's going on with Divine Feminine towards the Masculine Spirit? Thank you for the collective. Thank you. Oh, got quite a bit here. All right. We've got quite a bit here. Okay. She's like in the future, in the distant horizon. You know, um, maybe he'll surprise me. Maybe the Masculine will come forward and... Um, and this is a rich person giving to a poor person, but I'm not really looking at it that way. Maybe he will. Uh, yeah, thank you, Spirit. Spirit is saying in the future, maybe. I don't know when. Could be maybe another lifetime. I don't know, right? This is what the Divine Feminine is thinking. Like, she doesn't know. She's like, maybe, you know, at some point, I don't know. He'll be able to end his karma and pay his karma. That's what Spirit is saying. Maybe he'll be able to end third party. Maybe he'll be able to, like, deal with his stagnancy or his lies or his deception or whatever he's, he's done. Maybe he'll be able to deal with that vibration. I don't know when it's going to be in regards to love and how it's affecting our actual union. Okay. Sorry if you hear my mom. And there's um, also here, she's focusing on family and community. She's focusing on her own abundance, her own life, her own, um, you know, community that she wants to build, people that she wants to be around in her new vibration, how that's going to benefit her family, her children, her, her kids, her, uh, new partners maybe down the road if spirit brings that but right now she's just focusing on herself and that is not something that she is playing into with divine masculine all right let's take a look i'm going to use another deck here let's see what is going on with the um, divine masculine towards the feminine in this connection i'm going to pull one of these too actually so where they're connecting right now is they're both birthing a new vibration and you can you can actually see that in the cards what's happened here is um this masculine is letting things burn down he's moving into vibration and the feminine is birth, focusing on self and moving into new vibration so they're both birthing out of this womb and they both know they're two souls in one body so let's take a look at what is going on with the masculine towards the feminine in this connection what is the mutual energy for the masculine how he's connecting to the feminine at this time with this birthing of this new energy spirit. Where's the masculine? Yeah, he had to go out to sea to find himself. He had to leave things behind. And that's everything, including karmic situation. He knows that he has to be alone in order to birth this new vibration. And what about divine feminine towards the masculine? That one wanted to come out, but it didn't. It's community. She's really focused on her life and what she wants to build. But the one that fell out is flexible. She's learning a new way to be flexible and how to be in herself in this new vibration. That's a balancing act that we were talking about, right? That we saw what she's doing with the two of pentacles, right? And um, focusing on herself and um, learning how to move between these realms of this back and forth here of this fire and earth right of the father creation energy and earth energy and grounding it so let's see what's going on with divine masculine he's out to sea he's doing his own thing he he may be ending all these karmic situations he's really taking time to heal himself i don't feel that he's 
entertaining anything of karma right now he's really being pushed into uh looking at what he wants with union and i feel that's also because divine feminine is really learning how to ground certain things Okay, so we have death to the Hierophant in reverse for Divine Masculine. He's put an end to traditional ways, marriages, third-party energies, tradition, okay? How he may have done things in the past. He's in a complete transition, and um, he's ready to birth. So that's definitely a clarification. Let's see what's going on. What else for Divine Masculine towards the feminine? We're going to take a look at third-party energies in a bit. So actually, I'm going to create another video for that. This is just the overall energies. So um, I'm going to do another video in a, in a bit with um, just third-party energies, you versus them kind of thing. So we'll do that in a bit. Um, so we have three of pentacles with the nine of pentacles in reverse. This is a contract that he's putting an end to because um, he wants to build and work together where he um, was dealing with a lot of codependency and attachment. So he's putting an end to all of that uh, in regards to that contract clarify that three of pentacles the three of swords it's been a very painful um third party situation ending and that he's not dealing with that anymore all right let's take a look and see so he's really in the transition guys he's really in the birth canal ready to be pushed out and birthed okay let's see what's going on with divine feminine what is going on with the divine feminine Towards the masculine, she's focusing on herself, but she knows there are two bodies and one soul. What is going on with the divine feminine with this connection right now? So she feels completely, um, yeah, four of wands in reverse. She's completely breaking down her old foundations and she wants to be successful in this. She, and this is what I'm seeing. She's not dealing with the old vibration anymore. Whatever she had with the masculine, whatever that was, whatever has been happening, the vibration, she doesn't want it anymore. She's really moving into herself. She's, uh, things have failed and that put that would put her in a crossroads with the, her divine masculine, with the king of swords. She wants a new path with him and a new vibration. And she knows that things aren't going to move ahead unless she completely walks away for good and, um, moves into her own path instead of attaching to something that may have, would have, could have, should have been. And she, she knows that that has failed. That's not going to be, um, it's too competitive. It's too much. It's draining the divine feminine. It's putting her at a crossroads. Do I move this way? Do I call him? Do I do this? Do I, she's really done with that. And she's being very clear and she's honing this divine masculine energy as well to move into a brand new path for herself. And that's where she's birthing it. So let's get some final messages for the twins here, spirit. Let's get some final messages for the twins. I don't know if I want to use this, actually. I don't want to use this deck. Hold on. I'm beginning to pull to something else. I'm like, I don't know. They want me to use the masculine and feminine energies deck, so let's do that. Spirit is saying um, these energies are going to be, I want you to look them up. Look at the symbolism of these gods, okay, so that you can see where the masculine energy is currently at in regards to this connection and where the feminine energy is currently at in this connection, and that will be your reading. What is going on with the masculine energy? What energy is he housing right now in this connection at this time for the viewer? Wow. Eris, war. So he's going to war for this connection, okay? He's breaking things down. We saw that with the tower. He is fighting for this connection. He's letting his guard down in certain aspects so that he can start persevering. So Spirit wants you to just look up that, look at the symbolism, go read about it, okay? Go where you're guided in your search and um, look up Eris, okay? And Divine Feminine Energy. Because that's the energy that he's holding. He's 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 going to war for this. He's fighting for this. He feels the feminine has completely let that old vibration go. Completely. What is going on for feminine energy? Feminine energy towards the masculine. Thank you. What is she holding? What feminine energy is she holding right now? I just need one spirit. What feminine energy? Thank you. Hera. Wow, beautiful. She's holding Hera, which is commitment, commitment to self, commitment to her path. This is high goddess energy, commitment to moving into her sacred union with herself. She's also the stairways here. So she's bridging that. Okay. She's bridging heaven and earth. She's standing in that truth and she's not moving from the stairway. She moves up and down the stairway between heaven and earth and she's grounding that energy and she's committed to herself and her path into spirit.
All right, so look up Hera and see what other symbol symbolism comes up for you guys, okay? That is your reading for your Twin Flame Timeless reading for today. I hope that resonated with you. If you would like a reading in June, uh, please send an email to me. If you guys like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. So much love. Bye, guys.